हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोडा टीजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 30 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई-कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वर्क ऑन द ऑर्डर्स लेआउट और मे बी वी विल आल्सो इंक्लूड द कस्टमर्स लेआउट ओके इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द प्रोडक्ट सेक्शन प्रोडक्ट लिस्ट एंड देन वी हैव क्रिएटेड द ऐड प्रोडक्ट सेक्शन राइट नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट द ऑर्डर्स एंड द कस्टमर पैनल कस्टमर लेआउट राइट सो we already created let's change this vendor panel not seller panel and uh, we already created the order list this is for customer but now we will create for the vendor so let's first of all let's change the heading for the vendor right so source components and then we have a header here we have a header and we will see a uh, vendor panel right so vendor panel right and now we have a dashboard and uh, we have already created the products let's create the orders right so what i will do i will copy the customer orders copy and paste and i'll say vendor orders vendor orders dot js let's change this vendor orders and this will be i already created this file name so i will keep it as it is so seller sidebar now let's include this in our routes right so this is our where are the orders okay copy this and paste it here and we will say vendor orders right and then we will include it here and let's okay so we have changed this seller right so vendor not in orders right so this will be vendor orders all right so here we have and uh, now let's open the seller sidebar it should be vendor sidebar but it's okay so seller orders okay so we have created already so cannot resolved what it is vendor orders come oh it is vendor orders so seller sidebar no, app.js so seller all right so vendor orders is not defined actually vendor orders export right so when we click on the orders it is showing here but this order will change and what it will be first is product then price then status then action okay so status is okay till action is we need to change the actions so what it will be so the first action is change status right and then we can yeah this is fine only we need to change the status and for the changing status we will include the button group right so if we go to the docs and we will go to button group right basic example so what i want to do let's uh, i i want to do this kind of thing right so this is one two let's copy this okay and uh, we will include it here right so let's see how it will look okay so remove this and let's go here oh so let's change this class name all right and then here we are 
okay so what it is saying okay so it is saying uh, this should be button bs toggle okay and we don't need this not under oh understand oh this is fine we just need to remove this okay so why this is not working okay let's see I need button group so let's say navs base navs uh, or maybe drop down so this is drop down yeah this is this is fine actually we need this kind of thing so and this will be here yes so change and then we have here okay now let's see so this is button drop down and let's make it button sm and button primary right and uh, uh, no need to add let's remove this remove this also and remove this also okay so what we will say we will say change status okay and the status will be okay so this is going to let's copy this and paste it here all right okay so status so status will be uh, let's say approve complete let's say approve and uh, send complete yeah this is fine so these are the status approve send and complete okay so let's copy this and paste it here all right so Let's change this also to okay so this is our orders layout okay so vendor can change the status right so if we need anything more in the column then we will include that right so now let's also create the customer panel right so let's copy this and paste it here and uh, we will say customers right so customer will be this, this in this layout we will fetch all the customers list okay who made the orders right so here we will fetch the name email phone or mobile like an action so we will say John Dewey right and then email will be John at the rate gmail dot com right and then in TD we can fetch the we can show the numbers right and uh, otherwise else we will remove all the things right and then in the next TD we can say 
a button sorry for the barking okay so button button danger button sm and we will say remove remove from list right and then remove this tr here right and then we can paste it here right so this is two and let's say alex right and let's include this in a sidebar so what it will be it will be customer so we will what it is uh, customers so we will say customers right then we will copy this and paste it here and we will say customers right and then here we have a customers okay and then we will include the customers here let's include the customers here customers and let's say customers right so everything is fine i think so when we click on the customers it will show the name when we click on the orders it is showing the orders right so today we have created the two layouts orders and the customer next in the next we will show the reports layout okay multiple reports we will we will create some layout for um, uh, reports and we will see that what we can do in the reports right and then we will start the api so i hope you are enjoying this series if you have any uh, any query any comment then please add in the comment section and uh, i am trying to complete this design as soon as possible right so thank you so much please subscribe this channel share this channel like this video okay thank you